Uh, look, I'm exhausted, to be honest. It was, I was warned it was going to be challenging, um, but you don't really know how draining and quite emotional it became at the end because you've just, you know, you're trying so hard to pick the right images that you feel really, really strongly about and will stand up to, you know, everyone's thoughts on them, these images. And um, the category was came quite contentious because of the manipulation issue which came to the fore right near the end when we selected our finals group of photographs and then we called for the raw files and then all of a sudden there was a significant amount of entries that had to be taken out of the process. They couldn't be considered for any prizes because they'd broken the rules. Um, it was devastating, I've got to say. The, my, my fellow jurors, Bob and Young, were both quite upset that we're still having to deal with this issue in 2015. Um, I'm not sure how we get the message out, but you can't put things in and take things out <laughs> that aren't in the image when you take it. It's quite clear um, in the rules. And um, we've made a bit of a statement this year by not awarding a third prize. Um, it may be the first time, I'm not sure, but we felt quite strongly that we shouldn't award a prize just for the sake of a prize. It should be a worthy winner to get a third prize. It's world press, you know, it's, it's important. It's a benchmark competition. So we felt we couldn't do it. Um, the, the whole jury was in this process. It wasn't just the sports jury, it was the full jury. And um, we're quite happy with the winners. I mean, Karen's portfolio from Wimbledon, it's a fabulous piece of work. You know, there's a lot of thought went into that. That wasn't going onto a court and shooting a game of tennis. You know, that was more than two weeks' work. I'm sure there's lots and lots of other images that we didn't see from him that he's taken to, for that portfolio. Look, it's, it's a great view of Wimbledon. I mean, I've been there, but I've never seen that. I mean, it's been going for 100 and something years, and that's, that's what we rewarded. It was more the thought, the effort. It's so easy to just go to a a sporting event and maybe get a moment that's great and go home. But this, this was far deeper, far much more work and thought went into it. The edit was great. One of my, my earlier video with you, I was quite, um, wanted to make the point about editing and Karen clearly did a great edit or got help with, with it, you know, which was great. So in relation to the singles, um, as this year was the sports singles was changed, the categories were slightly different on last year and that the feature and action were combined. So made it a lot tougher, I think, for the judges. Um, amazing, a lot of good images. Like it's, hard, it's very hard to choose one. And again, like the same criteria with the stories, we did try and look to photography and photographers that put a bit more thought into what they were trying to capture. And we, we think, you know, with Messi, the, arguably the world's greatest player, walking with that look and as I passed the trophy, he wasn't going to be lifting and may never lift. Uh, you know, I, d I didn't see it from anyone else. Certainly no one else entered that. And there was a lot of doubling up pitches from the World Cup. So there were a lot of photographers there. And um, this guy maybe was the only one that got it. He was certainly the only one that entered it. And um, it's a beautiful moment, you know, of, of a, a, a scene or a moment after the moment. So. That's why we loved it. Um, second prize was the football catch. Yeah, like again, there's a story behind that, but it is a peak. It's a peak action picture. It's like the greatest, apparently, that was wrote or reportedly one of the greatest catches in NFL history. And you'd have to say that this photographer, I think it's Al Bello, again, um, has nailed it. I mean, it's it's a great picture. It's it's historic. It got used everywhere, so it you know it needed to be rewarded, and we we liked it for that reason. Slightly different perspective than the messy picture, but it's a sports picture. And then third prize we had um, the tragedy, the Australian cricketer. Now I think that stands alone without much explanation. You know, maybe some people don't know the story, but it was a huge tragic event on a sports field, which we rarely see, and the emotion of his opponents. I mean. This picture is not his teammates, it's his opponents surrounding him, nursing him, and you know, then you know, he, was, he died two days later. So it's a very powerful sports image, really seen, if ever seen before. 
Um, so again, we're quite comfortable with that, where that sits in, in the prizes of sport. There, there were many, and I, it feels uncomfortable to talk about a couple like this because when you've seen hundreds and thousands of them in the last week, how many you couldn't award a prize to, that's probably the worst part of this job. And you do have to make a decision, you know, you, and you have to form consensus with your colleagues on the jury. And, um, and we all come from different parts of the photographic world. So, you know, you've got different forces working. And, um, but I think we all feel, we could all stand in here today and feel quite comfortable that we all agree on what we've done. No one regrets. And we should, oh, we wish we'd done this or we hadn't done that. There's not, I'm not feeling any of that from any of them. And we look at the presentation now and we go, yeah, we, we did, we think we did okay.